Hello everybody and welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today is February 6, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be rocky dirt or good soil. Um, there are 16 times mentioned in 16 verses. Of course, we're only going to share a few of these. Psalms 113, 6-8. Far below him are the heavens and earth. He stoops to look and lifts the poor from the dirt and the hungry from the garbage dump, and sits them among princes. And Zacchaeus, I'm um, sorry, Zacharias, 9.3, though Tyre uh, has armed herself to the hill and become uh, so rich that silver is like dirt to her and fine gold like dust in the streets. 1 Corinthians 4.13 We have emptied quietly when evil things have been said about us. Yet, right up to the present moment, we are like dirt underfoot, just like garbage. In Mark 4.20 Jesus explains the parable of the soil and about the good soil. But it's Mark 4.20. But the good soil represents the hearts of those who truly accept God's message and produce a plentiful harvest for God, 30, 60, and even 100 times as much as was planted in their hearts. In Luke 8.15, again, Jesus is explaining. But the good soil represents honest, good-hearted people They listen to God's words and cling to them and steadily spread them to others who also soon believe. So dirt and ash used to be used uh, for repentance back in the Old Testament. Yes, dirt was considered worthless and so was garbage. Good soil will produce good strong fruit if treated correctly. Good soil represents honest and good-hearted people that listen to God Cling to them and help others to believe. So what I'm giving here is I'm asking that we go ahead and reach out to our brothers and sisters out there. Uh, treat others like we would treat ourselves. Um, and we would not end up being like dirt. We want to be like that good soil when we love our God with our whole mind, heart, soul, and all all of our strength. We're also to share the gospel with all nations, with all of our strength, and baptizing in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and try and make disciples the best we can. Have a blessed day, and if you want to visit me on Sunday, I'll be at Elmcroft Assisted Living, uh, giving a worship service there at 930, and I also help out First Baptist Church, Universal City. God bless you.